Herpes simplex virus, HSV, is a highly contagious virus that can cause a variety of clinical manifestations, including oral and genital herpes. Once a person is infected with HSV, the virus remains in the body for life and can periodically reactivate, causing outbreaks of symptoms. Herpes can be spread through contact with an infected person's skin or bodily fluids, such as saliva, semen, or vaginal secretions. There is no cure for herpes, but antiviral medications can help reduce the severity and frequency of outbreaks. There are two types of herpes simplex virus, HSV-1 and HSV-2. HSV-1 is typically associated with oral herpes, which causes cold sores or fever blisters around the mouth. HSV-2 is typically associated with genital herpes, which causes blisters or sores in the genital area. HSV-1 stands for herpes simplex virus type 1. It is a highly contagious virus that primarily causes oral herpes, which is characterized by cold sores or fever blisters around the mouth. HSV-1 is transmitted through direct contact with an infected person's saliva, such as by kissing or sharing utensils or personal items. Once a person is infected with HSV-1, the virus remains in the body for life and can periodically reactivate, causing outbreaks of cold sores or fever blisters. These outbreaks can be triggered by various factors, such as stress, illness, or exposure to sunlight. While HSV-1 is primarily associated with oral herpes, it can also cause genital herpes through oral genital contact. In recent years, there has been an increase in cases of genital herpes caused by HSV-1, likely due to changes in sexual behavior, such as increased oral sex. HSV-2 stands for herpes simplex virus type 2. It is a highly contagious virus that primarily causes genital herpes, which is characterized by the development of painful blisters or sores on or around the genitals. HSV-2 is transmitted through direct contact with an infected person's skin or bodily fluids, such as during sexual intercourse. Once a person is infected with HSV-2, the virus remains in the body for life and can periodically reactivate, causing outbreaks of genital herpes. These outbreaks can be triggered by various factors, such as stress, illness, or a weakened immune system. It's worth noting that while HSV-2 is primarily associated with genital herpes, it can also cause oral herpes through oral genital contact. Additionally, some cases of genital herpes may be caused by HSV-1, which is traditionally associated with oral herpes. Some common symptoms are herpes simplex virus. Initial outbreak, usually more severe than recurrent outbreaks. Painful blisters or sores on or around the genitals or mouth. Flu-like symptoms such as fever, headache, and body aches. Swollen lymph nodes in the groin or neck. Painful urination or difficulty urinating. Recurrent outbreak. Tingling or itching sensation around the affected area before the outbreak. Painful blisters or sores on or around the genitals or mouth. Flu-like symptoms such as fever, headache, and body aches. Some common treatments for herpes. Antiviral medications. Prescription antiviral medications, such as acyclovir, valacyclovir, and famcyclovir, can help reduce the duration and severity of outbreaks. These medications work by suppressing the replication of the herpes virus. Topical creams, over-the-counter topical creams, such as docosinol or lidocaine, can help relieve pain and discomfort associated with outbreaks. Pain relievers, over-the-counter pain relievers, such as ibuprofen or acetaminophen, can help relieve pain and reduce fever associated with outbreaks. Self-care measures, taking warm baths, applying cool compresses, and wearing loose-fitting clothing can help relieve symptoms and promote healing.